not at the moment, no. But that's why we've got fresh air. Forcing fresh air inside so it blows all the air out. All the nasty air will get blown outside. And after about 24 hours, the air's okay and the men can go inside and work. No problem. Yeah, I've been in there heaps of times. How is it? Like yeah, very... no, it's good, just fine, yeah. It's actually, a, yeah, when there's no garbage in there, it's usually a bit cooler inside there than standing in here. So, yeah, it's oh, that's right. okay. Yeah, When we turn them on, it forces air up through the plastic pipes. We have a fan system outside, and it squirts air through there, up through the compost. So um, it aerates it. Yeah, aerates it. We turn it three times. We have a look here. Get 
really hot, eh? Oh yeah. Just double tops, bits of plastic. This goes straight to landfill. Um, screwing it like probably two or three more times to get to try and get as much compost out of there as possible. Obviously we don't want to be sent the compost to landfill. Discharge, that's the first one out of the The first row against the wall down the front end. Yep. yep. So we take a sample from there because it's fresh. Yep. And that's the top two, and the bottom two are actually compost. <coughs> so, so where is that? Was that the one? We live, and they collate and they give us KPIs about, it, about it, the product performance. Oh, really? So yeah, they're really you're always trying to make a better type thing. Yes. Yeah. Right. So, and as Brent said, there's only three sites in Australia that do it. So, we're also part of a um, a work group. Thing, like, and you will compete to have the best compost. Well, not so much compete, but improve. That's awesome. And the the, uh, the work group that the sites are part of is looking at things like energy consumption, uh, energy electricity reduction. So we're trialing different technologies, um, different time settings. You felt the air coming through the floor. Yeah. Well, that's on a program. So at the moment, it's running at about 10 minutes. Every 10 minutes, it comes on. 10 minutes is not doing the pile temperatures any good. It's keeping it too cold. So the pile temperatures are starting to drift down into the mid to low 50s, where we where we want it to go up into the 60s and 70s. So what are you going to do to change it? Well, it's just a matter of adjusting, adjusting the fan settings because the fans are drying the drying this, the product. Once it's dry, it's, it's drying the product that quickly, it's not giving the time to decompose because we need. Okay. It's hard and yeah. <laughs> one buttercup. No. <laughs> right, so that's that's the lab. So every Monday we take a, we sample. Yeah. We go down to SGS. Someone just said you can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, every second Monday we go to uh, and do our stormwater testing, looking for um, contamination. Stormwater runoff. Okay. And where do you do that? The stormwater testing? Down in our catchment. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have an evaporation pond. So we don't discharge to, um, to waterways. Uh, Maybe it's so environmental friendly. Like, I think it's. Years old, our bounce convey off the tip floor. Yeah. Um, but the garbage is so. It's so hardcore and it's so. It just bucks it when it touches pretty much, yeah. you know. See, I see all the, the roofing and stuff like that still getting hammered because you guys had issues there. So a lot of the galvanised and steel and stuff like that, yeah, it's a little hard to run the fears and it's still hard to deal with it. Um, so yeah, the early years, um, those very big... That's the heat and the condensation the coming out of, the, uh, out of the digesters. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a really tough environment. Um, so, yeah, but no, it's great. It's, the whole thing's really stabilised over so the last Hopefully the council will come on board and help us out a bit more with what they actually do. Um, yeah. I, I feel they don't actually do enough as in like um, promoting what sort of stuff should be, you know, yeah. not put into your garbage bins. Do any of you interviews really, really see on no. TV? How I was just going to say TV. that there yeah. isn't anything like no. with lead Well, you'll see it, you, you will example. see it, but not enough, you know? Yeah. yeah. Public need to be made aware. They do. Of what you like, there's a lot about water conservation. The local contractor at the moment, it's clean away. They have, um, through council, they have a sticker system, a notification system. So if you're putting things in your bin that you're not supposed to, it comes up in the camera on the hopper. So when the bin goes in the hopper, it, the operator can actually see what's going on. Oh, so they yeah. can stick up. If you're putting in batteries, they can put put the uh, sticker on there or they can reject your load, reject your bin. So there's all these tools in place 
it just, that just comes down to the individual, you know, yeah, being I'm switched on enough to actually, or being passionate enough to actually. Some years ago in Coranda, the, the contractor identified a street that was <coughs> populated, had a, a big population of diabetics, so they were putting in a lot of syringes in their waste, in their recycle bin, in their recycling bin. So it was coming through on the recycling belt at the Mariba landfill. Uh, there was a series of uh, information drop, uh, drops, uh, local ads on the radio, and it ended up coming down to the contractor actually identifying the street, and then they went around and door knocked and said, you can't, you can't do keep that. doing this anymore. So it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it might have been. <laughs> Carbon, carbon filter, is it? Mike? Carbon filter? And in effect, ideally, it needs to be wet. We patch the system on the roof. The water actually acts as a filter. So it traps and uh, aids in the neutralisation of the odour. So when you drive past here, if this wasn't in place, it'd smell the high heaven. Alright, so the smell you're smelling now is after it's been treated. Alright? It's just water, nothing else? Just water and a uh, hardwood chip. Where do this you get this from? Oh, the this comes from the table from. lens. <laughs> How often is it changed? Um, this, we've had this change twice since I've been here in seven years, so we're almost due for another change now, within the next year. So it'll, it'll get rotated. Yeah, it just helps with the smell. Yeah. And neutralize the excavator on site, come in, rotate it. Where does the old stuff go? That's a good question. What's that? Where's the old stuff go? Um, the old stuff is like, by the time this breaks down, okay, this will go through a big um, screening system again. Because the um, the big chips, the big chips will go to landfill, and the and the fines, the fines actually, we've got farmers that want to buy it. They reckon it's really high in nutrients, and this is the size that pretty much you can see the size of the chips when it first come in here, and it's broken down pretty much over the years to, to this size. Very high in minerals, they say. Do you guys walk through here and rake it, or what do you do no, no, here? No. No it just sits really. here? Yeah. Uh, one, we got one down the back for the, for the air floor we were just on and it's probably twice the size of this one. 